Hello everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video showing how to use my Ether wallet, which is my choice for a software wallet for Ethereum and Ethereum based tokens like ICN or uh, uh, other uh, Ethereum tokens. Um, so many people ask me how to save their coins and I chat to so many people and they keep their coins on the exchange or they have no real idea where their coins are, which is very very scary to me so I want to explain to you how it's very very simple to keep your ethereum and your ether based coins very safe using my ether wallet uh, my ether wallet is an open source and client-side ether wallet so um, it's just a way to connect to your ether in the blockchain basically um, and to create a wallet it's very simple you just go to my etherwallet.com generate wallet tab or that's the start screen even create a password um, any password make it a good one of course and something you can remember maybe write it down or back it up somewhere uh, by the way you can get to your ether without this password this password is just to enter my ether wallet but this, of course like any password make sure you save it don't make it a password one two three four uh, make it something better so i entered the password i now remember it and then generate the wallet so and now there are a few things. Um, you get a wallet file. Uh, and what this means is this is basically in code, file with the code of your wallet, access to your coins basically. So to your ether, if somebody steals this file, your money is gone, your ether is gone, your coins are gone. So this is the key to your coins. There's no company you can call, there's no support. If somebody steals this or you lose this, your money is gone. So please, that's why this is in red. This is your key store file. It contains your encrypted private key. You are responsible for the safety and security of your private key. Please keep it safe. So for as a digital backup, I recommend you download the file. You click on it, you open the file. So this is the file you need to protect. Uh, what I personally like to do is to create a new file and call it something that's not the name my crypto or my ethereum so uh cat pictures whatever you know so that doesn't somebody doesn't want to steal it um and then you move the file in there so that's what i like to do and then you can even go further i have a program called 7 zip and you can make a zip file out of it and you can enter a password here so make sure you remember the password. Can be anything of course, and you have a zip file. So now you have a file which contains your key log, your, your, your ether file, which is protected with a simple password. And you can re delete the old one. Make sure you delete your, your uh, uh, trash can on the computer as well. So in this file, you can back up. What I like to do is buy two USB drives maybe, cheap ones, put the file on each drive, put the one in the closet, one at your grandparents' house, and maybe have this file somewhere in some secure space online, maybe, maybe a secure cloud-based service. You could put it in your Google Drive and stuff, but eh, it's probably not the best thing. Don't email, email it to yourself, it's, it's too public. So just be smart about this. Maybe uh, burn it on a CD-ROM, uh, put it on your laptop as well, and on your normal computer. Just make sure you have a few backups of this. Since you now encrypted it, it's pretty safe. All right, so you have the digital file. You have your key store file safe. Okay, keep it safe, make a backup. Don't share it with anyone, don't lose it. If you understand this, you click continue, and now you get your private key. By the way, people, I'm not using this key, of course. This is just an example, so don't try to hack this, this one. I don't care about this one. I'm not putting any money on this. If you have lose this key to somebody, they have your money. It's the same thing. This is just a different way of backing it up. So they have a nice button here, print paper wallet. And this is very nice, of course. You can just print this maybe make a plastic card of it put one in your bank in the safe give one to your wife if you trust her enough uh, put one in your house and uh, not too many but make sure it, with this you can always get to your coin even without my ether wallet this private key and your address 
combined, those two give you access to your Ethereum and to your Ethereum based tokens. So that's this one. So now basically you have two backups. You have a digital one and a paper one or a picture one or a number based one, however you want to save this. Okay, next, save your address. So now you come to the screen, which you will, you will see more common. Um, you can either open your wallet with the file we just downloaded or the private key. The other options are for more advanced features. So let's use the private key. Um, this is the key. So this is why you should never lose this to and show this to anybody. You enter the private key and you unlock your wallet. As you can see, you get your address. This is your Ethereum address and this one should match this address, of course, right? So that is your, your bank account, your, your Ethereum address. You see it here again. There's no Ethereum here. There are no other tokens on it. People can scan your address and that's it. So um, you can even sign a message. That's a way to do that. Um, so that's your key. You unlock the wallet and that's it. So here is your wallet. You can now use this address to send either to get so this is now your wallet if you want to send tokens let's say you have coins in your wallet it's the same thing you can open it with your key store file or with your private key open, you copy your private key you enter it here and lock your wallet now if, you, if i had any money on this one i could send to any address and choose which coin i want to send so that's how you Create and backup a My Info Wallet. Don't lose the keys. Don't lose the key store file. And watch out if you do this on a public computer. Uh, if you're on a web uh, internet cafe, make sure people are not taking pictures of this screen. Of this screen, of course. If they take a quick picture of this, they steal your money. Be careful, people.